Hey, what's up guys? Today we are going to be doing a whole house clean with me. I am going to be trying to tackle as much as possible. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. We have a bunch of really awesome videos coming up. If you're new, I just want to say welcome. I'm so glad you're here. If you're a returning subscriber, I just want to let you know how grateful I am to have you as part of our Epic Egbert family here. I make videos about homemaking. We make videos. We make videos about cleaning and Clean. fun. We make crafts, arts and crafts. And it's slime. Oh, we make slime, yeah. We love slime, huh? <laughs> yeah. Easter Bunny made slime. The Easter Bunny made some slime one time. That was really fun. Rainbow slime too. And rainbow slime. Let's get cleaning together, guys. Come on, let's do it. We can do it. Even if you do one thing, you're gonna feel so much better. Get up, let's get moving, let's get cleaning, let's get that much closer to a little bit of peace and happiness and fill our homes with all the love. I make my own dishwasher solution. I just got this Tupperware bin and I fill it with my ingredients. So I will show you guys how to make this. Sometimes it gets a little stuck on there, so I'll just give it a rinse with the water. I don't know, maybe I need some. I got it. <laughs> All right, so Bora. <laughs> Two cups. One cup of salt. Wow, what, Mom? It's just up there, okay? Oh, good, wow! Is it blending up? It, it goes smooth. All I do is fill my container with water about halfway. I, when I first started making this, I used a spoon to mix it up, but over the years I've learned that in using your hand, getting in there and just smashing up any lumps is so much easier. I am a big fan of the hand mix method. <laughs> Finish filling your container with water and shake, 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 shake your dishwasher detergent. Today I planned on doing a little bit of deep cleaning and as I pulled out my dishwasher soap, I noticed, oh my goodness, under my sink is a mess. So we're going to tackle that today. I have the best tip on how to cut up watermelon at 33 minutes and 28 seconds of this video. This is going to change your watermelon cutting game. Oh my God, it is the fastest, best way ever to cut up watermelon. I actually built all the cabinets myself from Ikea and then we had them installed. I love having drawers. My lower cabinets, especially under the sink, the under the sink drawer pullout is just so nice. It makes cleaning way easier. Can I take a picture of you? Um, it is taking a picture of us this whole time. It's actually taking a picture right now. I want to see you. Very cute. 
<laughs> my kids are so cute. They love helping me clean and I love the company so they're just really funny.
for some reason, she's chewing on the drawer. Thank goodness we cleaned it. <laughs> clean the outside and inside of our garbage can and recycling cans. Here's a tip for a quick, easy, healthy snack. Get bags of frozen fruit from your local grocery store. I bought this bag from Fred Meyer. To make them super easy, I just take the bag of sliced frozen fruit and put it in the refrigerator to defrost. So all I have to do is grab a bowl and take a handful of juicy thawed fruit. My kids absolutely love it. It's super convenient and it's fruit, so it's healthy. I like to keep little surprises on hand for a cleaning day or if my kids are having a hard day, like maybe they're sick or it's super rainy and we haven't been able to go outside for a long time. Whatever the case may be, I like to have little surprises around the house. And I had gotten this for their Easter baskets. They ended up coming a little bit late, so I just held on to them for one of those special occasions and today's the day. So I'm giving them these Mysticon swords, power bracelets, and masks so they can pretend to be superheroes while I clean. Oldest daughter loves to play superhero and her younger sister follows in her footsteps, of course, so they are hopefully going to enjoy playing with their new swords and protecting the Egbert realm. Are you my warrior princess? <laughs> you are, huh? I can jump everywhere. Wow, you guys are so cool. And we can blow bubbles at the bad guys out in the air. Yeah, that's and spray cool. water everywhere at the bad guys. Power, huh? Bubble power. I got bubbles. Bubbles. Bubble power. Ba -ba -ba. <laughs> ba -ba -ba. This is another project I'm working on. I cut up wood into little blocks so that I could make cute signs out of them. Then I spray painted them. This part had a little drip, so I'm just gonna sand that off. Add another coat of spray paint. These are gonna be so cute. I can't wait to show you guys. The signs with the three pieces I'm just going together with this wood glue. Gratitude, let's forget about a curve. You can stop that is stuck in my head. Do some dishes. In my heart is pacing, but I'm not sure I wanna pace it because it only does this with you. Our bodies meet, I can feel the tension. Move us into the next dimension. Let's just let our bodies be true.
beat, I can feel the tension Move us into the next dimension Let's just let our bodies be true Here is one of my favorite tips. I love to use a, a copper scrub pad for stubborn stains on my stainless steel pots and pans. It makes life so much easier. I'll once I discovered this, I was it was a total game changer. I definitely don't have time to sit around and scrub my pots and pans like crazy. So after I discovered this, I couldn't believe how good it took stains off. I went through and scrubbed all my pans spotless. Of course I love to cook a lot so they always get stuff back on them but it is just one of the best tools you can have in your kitchen if you have stainless steel pots and pans. I don't think it's really safe to use on aluminum or Teflon things like that so I would just look it up and see whatever kind of metal your pans are made of to make sure it's safe before using it. But for stainless steel it's the bomb. Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I would a tip this is something I learned years ago and I absolutely love separate your silverware as you put it into the dishwasher because when you unload the dishwasher it makes it so easy to put it away all you have to do is grab a handful of spoons gra grab a handful of forks grab a handful of knives I love doing this it saves me so much time and it's one of the things I'm just always super grateful I learned Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down.
Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground This thing is super handy. They're actually paint cups by Melissa and Doug, but I use them to hold my kids water when they do watercolors. I find that watercolors are way less messy and I love letting my kids do arts and crafts and having that kind of freedom. If this cup tips over, it doesn't spill. So it just makes life so much easier and allows me to not feel like by having my kids do arts and crafts is going to cause me a lot more work. So this is one of those things that makes both my kids and my life way better. You can say I lost my mind. Oh, gross. Something that was moist got in my vacuum cleaner. So now it's like caked in dirt. So I guess we're gonna clean that too. When I know I am going to be wanting to do some deep cleaning, a motto I like to live by is if you see it, clean it. It works out really well for me and you end up getting a lot of little things done that you would normally put off and also it makes things a lot less overwhelming because you don't have this massive list that's stressing you out. And I've been using that for the last couple years. So for me, if you see it, clean it, works really well. I will keep on holding my head high even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down yeah. The sky is falling down It was really funny. My oldest daughter, she asked for some cherries these don't freeze hard, so I usually keep these in the freezer. I take a handful, put them in a bowl, run some water over them a couple times, and then give them to the kids. They love their frozen fruit. Ashlyn, my five-year-old, finished her other snack and decided some cherries sounded good. So, hey, you know, I have no problem giving them some cherries. So, you know, hey, they're delicious, and they have so many good things in there for them. I always feel really good giving them this kind of stuff. Even if the sky is falling down Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest, I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. Let me be real here. When I see you, my heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me. But this time, this time, girl, I know what's bothering me. I need somebody to love. Oh, na, 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 na. Don't you see what's wrong with me? I need somebody to love. Oh, oh, na, na. I don't
was going through putting stuff under my sink, I found this. I think this is a really great thing to have in your kitchen for safety. I've had the same can probably for like eight years. Thank goodness that I've never had to use it before. I noticed that there, there was some rust on the bottom of it, so I just am taking a plastic bag and taping it to the bottom so no rust gets on my drawer. If you need something like this, you need it right now. You have no time to go to the store if there's a fire. What I like about this is it's really small and just fits under your sink instead of having to have a giant fire extinguisher. We do have a big fire extinguisher in our office, but I like having one of these in our kitchen and in our bathroom where, you know, you're cooking or curling your hair and a fire could happen. <laughs> the door and say I don't know when I'll be home like needles in my heart it's tearing me apart just trying to find a light in the dark I know that you're afraid believe me when I say polish my sink we'll get by our colors fade away I hope it's just a phase I tell myself that we'll be okay so hold on to me baby hold on made a noise to let me know that she had dropped something under the stove I, two broken smiles, we're lost, right? and then she made another noise and let me know she needed to be changed so we're gonna go do a diaper change hold on
Okay, so I had to share this with you guys. This is literally the best way to cut up a watermelon. It saves so much time to do it like this. All you want to do is first peel your watermelon or de-rind your watermelon. I worked in the kitchen at a kid's camp and one of the things I had to do was cut up, I'm not kidding you, 27 large, I'm talking huge watermelons. So this is how I learned to cut watermelon up so good. I cut probably about two to three watermelons the way I grew up cutting watermelons to slice it all up, then cut each of the ends of the rind off of each of the slices and then cut them up from there. Well, there was no way I was going to get through cutting this container that was literally the size of a bathtub full of watermelon. So I experimented a little bit and as I was cutting them up, I realized if you take all the rind off and then slice it, kind of almost like, it's like you're cutting up an onion. You guys have to try this. I do this for watermelon. I also do this for cantaloupe, honeydew, any kind of melon. This is the way to go. The only difference with other melons like cantaloupe or honeydew is a seed. So I just chop them in half, scoop out the seeds, handle it the exact same way. This is going to save you so much time. I don't know about you or your family, but my family and my kids absolutely loves watermelon and melon. We can eat an entire watermelon between all five of us in a day. Same goes for cantaloupe or honeydew or some of those other glorious melons out there. You guys have to try this. I mean, you are going to absolutely love it. This is the best way to cut up watermelon ever. I'm super passionate about this because it's just so awesome to be able to do it so fast. We do ain't no joke about love. He's the one that I died for. Can't so long side by side. I can't believe that he is mine. We just do what we do. I love my love. My heart is beating even faster, faster. He got me feeling like I'm ready for to me go. I am going to clean off the fronts of all my cabinets and sanitize the handles. I grab my copper scrub pad. This works so good for stubborn spots in the oven too, actually. So that's another reason I like having one of these around. I'll be on my 
my ten toes. Wish you threw it at me, I'm like, whoa, whoa. Been with us since before I had a phone. I've been with the gang, we some pup, pup, pups. Stay on top of green like a pup, pup, but acting all mean, giddy, yo, oh, oh, oh. Do my own thing, so, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh, oh. I know. Playing the top of the stove. All right, hot girl, summer had to put you on nice. Talking on my ear, mm, all right. She just want the Louis, but I got from off white, right? Rest under my pillow, not sleep good. LA out to the choker so she can feed good. And my little babies get whatever they want. If I say it, I mean it, no friend. I know, I roll, roll, roll. No drip, this a river, I roll. Village candles. I think they are actually becoming my favorite brand of candle because they have the perfect level of scent for me. They're not too strong where you have to blow it out. They actually have a smell, which some candles, they smell super good when you smell it in the store and then you burn it and nothing. But Village candles actually are awesome. I feel like they're just like the perfect level of scent. I'd love to know what your favorite candle brands are. I have been super into burning candles lately, especially in the evening. I like having a candle up on our dresser as the light. I feel like candles have the perfect level of light for in the evening. It's not too bright. I've tried having a small lamp and it just has too much light for relaxing in the evening. So having a candle burning, especially a vanilla candle, it just, feels right. <laughs> I 
go along with my deep clean motto if you see it clean it as I was pulling out one of these chairs I noticed they needed clean I saw that and I decided I want to give them a little scrub and knock any crumbs down onto the ground so I don't have to vacuum twice so this is gonna work out a little better I think gonna get back to cleaning the floors off. And I noticed the kids learning tower need washed. I love this thing. I feel like this is actually kind of a baby proofing product, which is kind of weird because obviously it's not going into your electrical outlet or something like that. But my kids, whenever they're in the kitchen, they love to be up on this learning tower so they can be at counter height, see what's going on in the kitchen and be a part of what we're doing. Since they're usually on the learning tower, I, it eliminates a lot of safety hazards that can happen in the kitchen. My husband had told me about, I think it was one of his bosses in the past, when they had young kids, he had spilled a little bit of boiling water on his son. I can't even imagine how horrific that would be. So my husband shared that with me and I've always been super paranoid. Before I had this, I would literally pick my kids up put them outside our kitchen and baby gate it closed so that I didn't have the risk of them walking under me when I was carrying a heavy pot of boiling water to the sink. Even though it's not that far, I in no way want that to happen to us. But with this learning tower, I just look over, they're up on the thing. I dump my water really quick. I just feel like it makes things a lot safer and not only safer, it's way more fun, but Anyways, I'm totally in love with this thing. I know I've shared this with you before, but it's one of those things that I feel like is kind of an uncommon must have. A lot of people haven't even heard of these. I think I learned about it on Pinterest and it's become just such a big part of our lives that I definitely want to share it with other moms because it's like so awesome to have. My brother's having his first baby and I honestly feel like giving this to them as a baby shower present. This has just been so helpful for us that I think it'd be kind of a fun thing to get them. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what wins out, but this is definitely on my list. What was the most helpful, best thing that you got for your baby shower? I would love to know because I'm definitely playing around with different ideas. This one is just so good though. If I give this to them, I feel like they might be like, what is this? But then later when they use it, they'll totally get why I got this for them. These things are so funny. They're super useful though. These are mop shoes. My kids love wearing them also. And I just take a hair tie and tie it to the front or back of it to make them smaller for them. This is one of my favorite cleaning things I've gotten. This is my favorite mop. I had had a steam mop 
previously and I just felt like it was not cleaning the floors good enough. This is actually cheaper and it just cleans the floor way better than any mop that I've ever had. I love how the foot pedal uses like this salad spinner like device to dry the mop head off. And as you can see, my kids love using this and mopping. I don't know if it's because of the mop bucket. They like watching it spin and being able to spread water everywhere, I think. I don't know. I think it's so cute that they love helping me mop. One thing I wish about this mop is that you could buy the actual mop part separately. I got two of them so that Ashlyn could help me mop because she just loved it so much. I wish that they sold the handle separately though. If you know of anywhere that sells this mop handle separately, I can tell Emily is going to be wanting a mop of her own also. So that would just be way more economical for me. So if you know of anywhere you can get O-Cedars mop head or something that would work, I don't even care if it's the exact brand mop head. I just want it to be able to fit into our mop bucket system so that we can all mop together because for some reason mopping is like a big deal in our house. So it's like very fun, which Hey, you know, if it's fun, I am all for it. Yes, please help me mop, okay? <laughs> One day I will be super happy about it. Hopefully it will stay fun forever. Just let it stay fun forever, please. <laughs> Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. The kids marked up a couple areas in the kitchen, so I am going to take my magic eraser and see if I can save our wall and this beautiful dresser I have that the kids colored on uh, at Hobby Lobby. I waited until it went on sale and then they colored on it with crayons. I hope I can save it. Oh my god. My beautiful shabby chic dresser has now been obliterated with crayons. Ugh. Mom life. <laughs> I mean, I guess it is kind of my fault because I, for some reason, thought that I could leave a couple crayons out for coloring. No, not at our house yet. Ashlyn's old enough to have crayons laying around. But Emily just went into the phase of wanting to color also and so the transition of Emily being interested in coloring as well. We're back at coloring on the walls. I've been dreaming so much lately about your face when you're smiling. It's the only thing that saves me. Mm -mm. Hey, I don't know if I told you that I think you're beautiful. And oh, I can't wait to hold you. Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down. And I don't know what I would do without you. Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down. Without you, 
This is something that I know for sure It's just something about you I just want more Tell me what you want to do right now Tell me what you want to do tonight I really don't care as long as I'm with you Hey, now I'm looking to my eyes You can use them as a mirror, baby You're my ticket to paradise can use them as a mirror you're my ticket to paradise hey now look into my eyes you can use them as a mirror baby you're my ticket to paradise decided to give the floor another quick vacuum to get any little bits and pieces the mop knocked loose and just suck them up so that I can have a spotless floor for a couple minutes. <laughs> to have a super clean kitchen and to have gotten some deep cleaning things done. <laughs> If 
you like the video, make sure to leave it a big thumbs up. It helps my channel out so much and lets me know what you guys find motivating, what kind of videos I should keep making. So I definitely appreciate every like you guys give me. They mean so much to me. Every comment, every like, it definitely is a motivation to me and it just keeps me going. So thank you for all of you guys who either leave a like or comment. I appreciate it probably more than I could ever say so thank you again for that if you're not already subscribed definitely consider subscribing to my channel I make videos about homemaking decorating cleaning motivation organization and I hope your week is filled with peace love and fun thanks for watching Bye now.